your whole career has been go, go, go since you came into UFC. You came in only at 3-0. and Do you look at this as a time to kind of step back a little, rebuild, or are you still kind of on the train? So, yes. Uh, all of my career was in the rush uh, since I started. Uh, they are, it was in, I started the MMA in 2018. And uh, already I did my first fight uh, just after six months. And uh, since this fight, I was already in the Russia uh, until here, uh, until today. So, so, yes, I want to take my time now, but uh, I want to take my time at the gym. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find some time without all of the things you have around the training and, uh, and the gym, you see. So I don't need to take my time just like okay during, uh, between two fight I, I need I need more time no it's not about that you need to manage my my my, my schedule you see <laughs> without all of the thing you have around the fight you see and like that we're gonna have time and uh, this is exactly what we manage now we was in the rush uh, like is is it's it's yeah, when you have a lot of opportunity like me, because I was already uh, shining on the, on the light uh, really quickly, uh, it, it was really normal to open the door everywhere to 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 build my 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 brand. You see, but now everybody knows who is here again. So now I'm gonna take maybe more time just for the training. Just that's it, and the family. I'm good. Thank you. You have a chance to make a big jump in the rankings. Uh, do you look at yourself as the dark horse of the division? Как на вещку точно не смотрю. Как на полярного медведя смотрю. Ну мы мы сконцентрированы, чтобы победить и все. Yeah, I don't look at myself as a, as a little horse. I look at myself as a polar bear. And the concentration, yeah, is obviously to jump up and to win. And you're coming off of that big win over Derek Lewis. We saw what he was able to do in his last fight. Do you look at that as a breakout moment in your career? Was that the biggest win of your career? Каждый бой отличается друг от друга. Я не не думаю об этом. Дерек хороший боец, но мы прошли его. Yeah, I, every fight is different. I don't think about it this way. Derek is a great fighter. It just happened that. Uh, we we went through him that time, but uh, he's a great fighter. It doesn't take anything from him that we won. And I know you were disappointed from your last fight. Was it tough seeing kind of the fans being disappointed as well? Like you've achieved so much in your career. You've done it so fast. So was it hard to see fans get disappointed? Because at the same time, it's because the expectations are high when it comes to you, right? Of course. Uh, me, at first, I was really disappointed. I'm a competitor. So of course, I was really disappointed. And... And the people on the social media, but not only in the real life also, was disappointed. Everybody, a lot of people was behind me for this fight against Jones. And everybody know is is not exactly the result uh, we expected because everybody know I can I can put some more difficulty, more difficult for the against John Jones for John Jones. You see, so everybody was really disappointed that some people. Uh, Explain himself on the, on the social media and stuff like that. Uh, but um, yeah, at first, me, I was really disappointed, and uh, and that's why we 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 went back to the gym really quickly. And this is going to be your first main event, I believe. So, how has your preparation been different for 25 minutes? As Derek, I'm also была у меня получается первый бой мы у нас не получился, так как он по состоянию здоровья не получилось выступить. Потом второй бой мы осуществили. Это, получается, второе главное событие. И вот третье сейчас. А, ничем не отличается. Тренировки все такие же, как бы все, все тренируются, все работают. А, да все. Yeah, to be honest, the, the first fight with Derek Lewis that didn't come to fruition was also going to be the main event. Unfortunately, because of his health, he had to uh, get out of the fight. But then they rescheduled it, rebooked it, and it was also the main event. So technically, this is my third main event that I'm getting prepared for. But nothing is, nothing is different. The preparation is not different. We, uh, we're making sure to sharpen our tools, to sharpen our skills, and come out there to win. And you're taking on uh, Cyril Gan, who's lost two of his past three. Uh, the last one against John Jones was a pretty quick one. What did you think of his loss to John Jones? 
Have you changed anything in terms of uh, training structure, bringing in new guys and stuff like that? What has this training camp looked like for you? Uh, everything you need uh, to change, we did it. And we changed a lot of around, like I said just before. I think in the, uh, me uh, to be more focused on me, just me and not around me, you see. And this is exactly what uh, we did. And uh, yes, and to preparing this fight during the camp uh, for John Jones, this is this had a lot of experience uh, for me. Even if I lost my fight, it was a big experience for me uh, as as a fighter, but also as a as a human, as a person. And uh, and today, yeah, every every experience really painful build you uh, stronger, you see. So um, this is who I am now. Я готовлюсь, как обычно, тяжело тренируюсь. Ребята с моей команды знают, как я тренируюсь, как, как я отдаюсь в тренировках. И меня не заботит, какое имя, мне не важно. Я прихожу сюда просто выступить, подраться, победить. И вот на что я как бы ставлю акцент. А кто будет против меня, не важно. Я с 7 лет уже в спорте. Выступаю э, очень долго уже, и в моей жизни очень много спортсменов было на соревнованиях. И чтобы я сейчас думал, кто там против меня, э, это будет глупо. You know, I prepare really hard. I, I put my entire self into training. The guys that are from my team, they know and they see how much I put in at every practice. It does not matter who I prepare for. Uh, I don't think about cereal or, or who's going to be in the cage. I have to tell you that I've been in the sport since I was seven years old. There's been a lot of people and a lot of names in front of me and a lot of different competitions. So there's no time for me to really think about who my next opponent is going to be. What I have to think and I have to concentrate about is myself, my preparation, and then I'm going to come out there and we'll see what happens. And uh, you're fighting uh, Spivak. He's been booked for five rounds before, but he's never gone 25 minutes. You have. So how much do you feel like that's going to play to your advantage? This is a, the, this is a <laughs> big news for me, you see. Uh, I, I was really sure he did already uh, five rounds. This is a, but in, no better. Uh, I, just, I just want to be uh, the best version of myself. Uh, we did a lot during the camp. Uh, we had a guy, a big guy, Cyril Maré, uh, a champion uh, in the World Cup, but also in the in the Olympic game in judo. And everybody know uh, Spivak have a big background in the judo and he used very well during this fight. And um, so that's why we did a big focus on it. Like every time we think uh, we are maybe better on the striking game, so for sure we're going to go on this way to try to 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 push me and to have a clinch and to go down. And you have wins by knockout, you have wins by submission. What do you think of his ground game? He's obviously an amazing striker, but is that a part you feel like you can exploit? Я не изучаю своих соперников, какие проблемы у него я не знаю. Я готовлюсь как к самому совершенному бойцу. Для меня он будет хороший борец, хороший ударник, хороший кардио составляющий у него будет хорошая. То есть я готовлюсь на серьезного оппонента. А, искать какие-то минусы в сопернике, где он хорош, где он плох, а, а, я так не делаю. Я готовлюсь как на самого серьезного соперника. Вот и все. Каждый бой так. I, I get prepared for the best fighter that can be in front of me. I don't study my opponent. I don't look at his weaknesses. I don't look to concentrate on something that he's strong is or his weaknesses. I get ready for somebody who is a great striker or a great wrestler or a great grappler or somebody who's got cardio for days. I get prepared for the ultimate fighter that's going to be in front of me. So I, I don't have time to concentrate on what I can capitalize in the fight. I just think that if I prepare for everything great, then... The fight will show. And uh, one more for me. Tom Aspinall is supposed to be coming here. You responded to him on Twitter. He said he wants the winner of this fight. Do you see that as a kind of a logical next step for you if you can beat Spivak? 
the better way for me, no, you know this, you know this way. The better way for me, the better schema for me is to do exactly what we did the last years. Um, to put uh, to put a big message on, on this Saturday, uh, and the message is: I'm still here. I want to go back to the bell. This is my better way uh, to go. Uh, the, the short way to go to the bell. Merci. And Tom Aspinall said he's going to come watch this fight, and he wants the winner. Uh, is do you see him as a logical next step, or are you thinking you beat Cyril? It's a title shot. Thank you, Tom. No, for the start, we need to beat Cyril. За спину соперника не будем заглядывать. А, так мы готовы ко всему. Э, я не отказываюсь от боев. И как долго бы, не, какая долго моя, мой путь к титулу не стоял, мы будем идти. Yeah, first of all, we have to go through Cyril. I'm not gonna go ahead of him and think ahead of him. My my goal right now is Cyril, and then we'll see. You know, I I, I get prepared. I never say no to fights. We'll see what the UFC says. I'll take whoever the next uh, opponent is, and however many steps it will take for me to get to the title, that's how many I'm ready to go. I'm getting prepared for everybody and willing to fight anybody. So, with the John Jones fight, when you look back and reflect on that, do you feel that your performance was based on how good John is, or that the fact that you just had a very bad night at work? Both. It's, 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 John Jones is a really, really great fighter, and he did very well. And we knew we knew already uh, he would like to go on the grand game, and at this moment I did a mistake. You see, so this is my fault also. Uh, but he did it very well, so this is his fault also. <laughs> so yeah, so both. In a way, is that loss unique, right? Because obviously, you, okay, you lost to Francis, but to lose to someone like John Jones, it's a big guy, it's. It's unique. The reaction you get from everyone else is so much more negative and so much more, you know, they're passionate yeah, about their negative, right? Do you think that after that, it's almost you've experienced something that no one else in this sport will ever really understand and it's very unique to you and you can take that to learn from and use in the future? Of course. This has had me a lot of experience. Um, even if the fight did just three minutes, <laughs> this has this had a lot of experience for my career. A lot. So yeah, I'm going to use everything I, I, I can to be a better version for the future. So for my next fight also. Hi, Sergey. Um, Cyril Gunn is known as a wrestler, a striker, you a wrestler. And last week we see Sean O'Malley became champion against Aljamain Sterling. Um, what do you need to do to avoid the same result technically? Быть в фокусе, быть в фокусе, сконцентрированным на бой. У нас тем более тяжелый вес, у нас тяжелые удары, поэтому просто быть внимательным и все. I have to stay focused. I have to concentrate on the fight. I have to make sure to pay attention. And of course, we are, you know, in a different weight class. This is heavyweight, so every every punch can be the knockout punch. So I have to make sure to stay focused, concentrate, and avoid those. Thank you very much.